Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to shrink your email message in Microsoft Outlook so that you can fit it all on one page, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So stay tuned. What you want to go ahead and do is select the email message that you would like to print. And we're going to go over to the left hand side and at the top of the page you will see that there is a file option. Basically what happens here is you navigate down to print. Now as you can see there is a print preview and what will happen here basically is you can see what it's going to look like when it prints. You can now see that all of this is on a second page. Now this of course uh, depends on the actual email and how much content there is on the email. So we're going to go over to the left hand side and you can see that there is a print options tab. We're going to open that and right from here you can now start to define how your page is set up. So right over here there is a page setup and on the bottom right hand side you will see that there is a title and fields option. Now you can see that that is a font as well as the size of the font. We're going to go ahead on the right hand side, tap on font. And here you can change all of that. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to make everything semi bold or we can make it light. Um, and then on the size, this is now the font size, you're going to go ahead and you can make it 8, 9, 10. It just depends on how much content is actually in the email and um, how much you want to actually reduce it. Once you've chosen the appropriate size as well as the font style, you can go ahead, tap on OK, and we want to do the same thing for the field. So we're going to go ahead, tap on font and the font style. We're going to make that light and over here the size of the font we're going to make eight we're going to tap on ok uh, once we're done here we're going to tap on ok again and we're going to tap on cancel now this uh, changes that we made will not take effect yet we need to go over to the left hand side at the top of the page you're going to hit back and we're going to go and repeat those steps getting into there again so that's file print and uh, you can now see that this is a slight but smaller the buy now is actually now on the previous page and what you will do now of course is try and reduce it as much as possible to fit it into one page if this was helpful drop us a like we'll see you next time cheers